for financial wellness. Reach out to them for advice at 855-DON-GINO. And now back to your hosts, Don Getling and Gino Franti. Well, happy Saturday from Don Getling. And look who's back from, yeah. I don't know if by popular demand, but he's back. <laughs> Mr. Gino Franti been in Argentina for three weeks now. Holy cow. Welcome back, buddy. Oh, well, it's good to be back, Don. And I occupy more space in the studio now again. <laughs> <laughs> That means you enjoyed your vacay, huh? I did. You know, it's unbelievable. You know, it's a uh, it's a very carb centric culture, I guess. And you know, you wouldn't <laughs> you wouldn't think that, right? Everybody thinks of Argentina, and you always think of the meat and the barbecues. But I'm, I I guess I forgot. All you do is eat pasta and pizza and uh, you know breads and cookies, and it's just very very all these carbs. And you would think that people are obese, and they're not. And you wonder why? How does that work? And it used to be back in the day they used to walk everywhere, but nobody walks anywhere now. Right. And so um, I think it's or so they chase down their own food. I think it's soda. <laughs> I really do think they they really don't have a heavy soda culture. Um, some people drink soda there, but most people don't drink soda. They so I, it's the only thing I could figure out. I mean, that's like thousands of carbs a week that are being eliminated. But I don't know. I, I was able to put it on. Hey, <laughs> you want to see how Gino put it on? <laughs> we have three HD cameras here uh, on our Vault Media Studio right here. Mm -hmm. Uh, we built our own custom-built studio just for you at Skyline Home Loans here. You can visit us in the Vault Media Studio by going to donandgino.com, D-O-N-A-N-D-G-I-N-O.com. Click on the live stream button, and voila, you enter. We're waving to you. G Gino's doing the shaky dance. <laughs> <laughs> I just, well, my belly does that exactly. by itself now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we saw him at a place. He had, to get, he had to go to Google Maps to find it, but he was actually at the gym th uh, this week. <laughs> That's right. I, couldn't, I hadn't seen it. Uh, you know, Don and I, uh, we always talk about we've been an afterburn for, what, maybe four years now. And they just went through this massive expansion, maybe like I don't know, like oh, 60, you didn't 60 days place, ago, yeah. and uh, that was the first time I saw it. That's sad, <laughs> <laughs> but it was great. It's uh, it was good to get back, and I didn't do anything special today. It's just to no. break, just to get the new. How's your jaw? <laughs> you worked that out. <laughs> well, I had to do that. People hadn't seen me for three months. That's true. All yeah. you did is walk around saying hi to everybody. <laughs> well, uh, you get that out of the way, and then you could get serious in about a week or so. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's good to have you back. Again, please join us at donandgino.com. Also, you'll see a very pretty lady joining us Aww. today. It's Jennifer <laughs> Gerber, who has joined our team. We're going to go into more about Jennifer, but we have her joining us in the, in the booth today. And you'll see she's... Very pretty lady. She's dressed up our studio. For sure, for sure. Aw, thank you. Too much. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Too much. Too much. Oh, Say yeah. it again. <laughs> <laughs> so, All right, and then today we're going to go. We want to start off. Here's the segments for today and why you want to stay tuned. And again, every Saturday, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., we get to share with you what you need to know, want to know, and should know about real estate, finance, and so much more, your community. And we've been able to do this for over five years now, over Shoot, half a decade. How about that? And yeah. uh, they haven't kicked us off yet, do you know? No, and I think, you know, what we were talking about in, it was a little bit, um, you know, we've talked about it a little bit is our trajectory, right? How this started, why this started. We didn't really have a choice, which no. is which was good. We have to thank our business coach for that. Yeah, Ron Quintero with Real Estate Radio Network. He basically said, hey, you start a show April April 1st. I'm like, huh, yeah, April no, Fool's, yeah, that's, that's funny. funny. Yeah. And he's like, no, no. <laughs> You start a show, and I'm like, uh, we don't do a radio show. He goes, you're going to. You need to share the great information, especially during these tumultuous times, of what people can do and ha how to help them and help rebuild the real estate market, and we're, we're proud to be part of that. Yeah, no, it's absolutely. Uh, you know, We talk about how you could see the progress of not only the real estate market but the country. Uh, all we talked about was distress. All of our first shows were Yeah, about, we didn't even take calls. We're like, we know what your call is going to be about. <laughs> yeah, I'm losing my house. How do I keep it? I'm losing my house. How do I keep it? I need to declare bankruptcy. I'm overburdened with debt. There was a lot of people that yeah, did radio divorced. shows. divorced. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of people <laughs> that did stressed. radio shows about that, Don. I right. mean, you know, obviously, you know, even Dave Ramsey helped people through that time. Right. And became very, very famous through that time helping them with that. But we always had... Real estate optimism, I'll call it that, right? Even though we knew that it was in the doldrums at the time, it's like, guys, don't get distracted. Historically, over the last 50 to 75 years, it's been a great investment. And well, we gave, gave you options out there. That's the one thing we could at least do is here's, here's what you may be going through. Here's some ways to handle it because if you stick your head in the, in the sand, that doesn't fix anything. Mm -hmm. It only makes it worse. And we know a lot of you are dealing with major, major stress. This is major stress in your personal life, your family's life, your marriage, all that. We wanted to give you options, and we were hopefully helped a lot of you out with that. And yeah. evidently they left us on the radio show. I guess we did, he, okay. even I guess Carl, we did okay. Even Carl is like, 
hmm, so you guys want to start a real estate and finance show? We'll see how that works. <laughs> yeah. Well, we, you know, we knew our business, but, you know, we didn't yeah. know this trade of being on the air. And it, that's something that we had to learn. So thank you for being patient with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even, even Carl, like six months later, he goes, you guys actually are pretty good at this now. <laughs> Go listen to your first show. And we're like, no. He goes, yeah. He's goes, don't do it while you're driving. <laughs> right. Yeah. You'll, you'll drive off the side of the road. <laughs> yeah. So, but at the end of the day, Don, you know, the reality is that what we had to help people with at that time was to detach, uh, and it's very, very, very hard to do, but to detach yourself from the home uh, emotionally. emotionally. Yeah. And that's what we, I think we did a really good job of. In fact, I had to do that myself uh, because I made a bad investment. And when you look at a home, sometimes it's an, you know, yes, it's a great place to raise your kids and there's a million great reasons that you buy a home, but sometimes you do have to look at it as an investment. And when it's a bad one, just get out. I mean, look at you. You're all, yeah. you got rid of it, got rid of that stress, restructured your life. And now you're in a new home, bigger, better, happier and more prepared and and smarter way better house uh much better as far as the little neighborhood the pocket i'm in much happier uh and for a hundred thousand or a hundred and twenty five thousand dollars less than i had bought my original house for uh so in the end it all worked out mm. and don't be afraid to utilize programs like fha i used fha so that i could buy the house a year ago i've got appreciation refinance out into conventional and we'll talk a little bit more about that we've got a lot of strategies don yeah and those strategies are so much more important than just rate right alone all right what's what's you just teed us up on that gino the reason we started this show is to help you again with strategies and and reach out nobody pays us to do that actually we pay to do this yeah huh but we feel if we give give back to our community and give back to you then it, we're serving a purpose we have between gino and i Oh, 45 years experience that we needed to share with you. And we love doing this. This is our favorite part of the week. We get to share an hour every Saturday, you know, helping you. And, and what's come about over the last few years is really nice is because we've interviewed some incredible professionals. And I think the best part, of, I mean, let alone sharing with you about what's happening in real estate, bringing our real estate professionals. We've also uh, built up some great relationships with some of the very, very, very best professionals we can find in all of Santa Clarita. Yeah. And, you know, Don, the other thing, too, is that over all these years, one of the things that Don and I are never too um, egotistical to say that we're, we learn something every single every time. time, every time we have a guest on. And this year has been particularly special for some reason and i don't know why the magic well, is we're happening getting closer but, to them we under, yeah. we utilize all these professionals ourselves we know their skill sets we know how they can help you we know them personally that's true and that's yeah. why it's i think really jumped up this year is because we use all these great professionals that we found them all we're talking to state planners we use lisa odom we have financial planner chris ingram uh <laughs> we have a divorce attorney <laughs> Jim Reeve. He's very good, by the way. Yeah. Um, I, did, I always tease that I wouldn't hopefully need his services. But anyways, uh, he's, he's helped me out quite a bit. Um, and it's all amicable. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah. Um, but we also have insurance planners. Carlos Villalobos we use. Um, life insurance. Life, we have Scott. Scott Zimmerman. Yeah. Um, college planning, who's amazing. Robert Schwartz. Crazy um, if your kids are going to college and you don't call Rob. Crazy. You're crazy. Premier college guide, guidance. Um, who else we got? We got, um, you name it, basically, we have it. A uh, solar, we just had our uh, Mark Figuero with Sun Power Green Convergence was just on, Gino. Yeah. He was phenomenal. He did both of our solars, and we did all the homework, and it was phenomenal. I couldn't be happier. No, me either. Couldn't be happier. I've, I've, I've taken the time to do the Yelp review. I've taken the time to fill out the Sun Power review. I've, and we're going to do oh, a yeah, little testimonial a, video for yeah, him. Yeah, we had a corning. Uh, I mean, yeah. everybody. Everybody wants to know if they did a great job, and, and they really did across the board. And this is kind of a weird what, testimonial. What was your bill? My bill last month was $1. Okay, so <laughs> as I was telling you, mine's between 1 and 3. And you know there's that back-end bill, the one on page 2. So the one on page 2, I mean, he really did under-promise and over-deliver because I was expecting this to cover 70% of my solar uh, of my power bill. Well, I don't know if uh, – and we haven't had an especially uh, – long summer per se because we did have a cloudy early part of the year but um i expected my bill to be at least twice if not three times more than what it is right now based on the expectations that were set right. so i'm super happy yeah i mean obviously we have a loan payment on that which right we, and we got a tax i got an eighteen thousand dollar tax i was just gonna say we got, year, I got 16 I tax think. credit wow. even better credit even yeah. better than a deduction yeah because i mean that was 18 grand of what i had to pay this year so okay so but that doesn't come simply folks you gotta do a lot of research i spent crazy amounts you don't want to spend the time researching solar that i spent you just don't want to yeah, it's just, a waste of time yeah just go to sun power green convergence talk to mark Figueroa, and you'll be glad you did yeah and then just talk about the different ways to finance it because i right. think that's where solar gets complicated is there's multiple ways to finance it and depending on your specifics 
uh, it could maybe not be worth it for you. All right. We're going to break. We have some great information. We want to give you a little bit more information about the resources we have created for you. Massive resources and how you get to them. And also we're going to introduce Miss Jennifer Gerber in the house and then we're going to talk about what the current market conditions are real estate wise it changes every week so you're going to want to know And we're going to give you a close out with strategies for you sellers and for you buyers that are going to change your life when we come back to the don and gino real estate and finance show do not go away <laughs> 